Hi everyone, I thought I'd quickly show you how to set up a custom size like for a business card in Word. We have a lot of clients that tend to create little blocks in an, on an A4 page and then it always gets reported and it's rather frustrating for them. So there's actually a way around it that's quite easy once you figure it out. So if you want to do something in Word, you go to File, Page Setup, um, under pa paper size, you'll go to custom sizes. So I've already tested this because I've never really had to do it before. But let's say your business card that you ordered is 90 by 50. That's cute. But if you don't add in bleed, which is basically um, extra color on the sides of your artboard, so that when a cutter shifts, it doesn't print white. That's kind of what bleed is. That's why it's there. So if you don't add it in, you're still going to have an issue. So let's say whenever you have an artboard and let's say it's 90 by 60, you always add in three mils all around minimum. So this will be 96 by 56, but you don't put any text there. So you're going to have like a few imaginary guides and I'll try and show you. Okay, just make your margin zero. Otherwise, you can't pull it to the edge. Narrow. Let's go with narrow. Okay. So it wasn't your margins. Anyway, you can make your margins zero. So that's what we'll do now. I hope. Yeah, we're going to make them zero. The reason is that you don't have your stuff can go to the end. I hope that makes sense. Anywho, so I'm going to play a game. I obviously am not a skilled artist in a word so let's just try okay so the reason why we want to do is is so that we can um you know have the full color effect so let's say we'll oh my word struggle we'll struggle to find a logo apparently there's a baby grow shirt <laughs> Okay, so we have a logo, finally. I'm just going to um, copy this because I want to undo. Okay, then you're going to go to, I think it's like text strap, which I don't know where to find it. But anyway, you're probably way more um, like proficient in <laughs> in this little project. Oh, yay. Okay, finally got that to work. Okay, so now that you have a text box, I mean, I'll figure out how to make it the right way now. You just say, John. And zero and zero. I don't know what the number is at the moment. Okay, so you have a really ugly design from my side. For the purposes of this, I'm just going to enter this because we don't really need to struggle with this now. Um, obviously, anybody that is more skilled can struggle with this later if they want to i don't want to okay i've removed my full which basically i feel like a genius for this okay so let me quickly explain to you this part and this part you'll want to leave about six mils open so a very nice rule of thumb is about two-thirds of the thickness of your pinky point <laughs> it's not the easiest thing but that is a creative way for you to find out how to do it. Yeah, like we have what. So that you see, yeah, there's no text because that'll be reported. So once you've done this, you can actually just save it as a PDF and upload it or convert it because remember, um, it is um, it is something where it is still going to be RGB, so it's safer for you to go and convert online, but easy way to do it. Thanks and have a lovely day.